Cops who find a car 26 years after it was stolen see something more disturbing nearby. On January 20, 1991, the police department of Jackson County, Oregon, received an emergency call about someone's car being stolen outside Southside Cinema in Medford, about 27 miles from the California border. The car in question was a unique piece, a Porsche 924, manufactured in 1967 by the German car company. It was the first vehicle to have a fully automatic transmission. The police, after several investigations, doubted finding the vehicle. It remained missing for the next two decades. Then, one day, the authorities got a triggering phone call. On November 28, 2017, nearly 26 years after the car was stolen, Jackson County Police received a tip from a caller who reported seeing something strange on a rural trail while walking his dog. The man reportedly strolling through the woods near Crater Lake National Park when he spotted an overturned car. It looked like the car had been lying on the hillside for a long time. Whose car was it? And how had it gotten there? After further investigation, the police confirmed that it was the same Porsche that was stolen 27 years before and that the car's registration expired the same year it was stolen, way back in 1991. The question about the provenance of the car remained unanswered. Police then discovered pieces of a skull by the scene of the accident. Forensic teams confirmed that the bones came from a deer and not a human. The vehicle's location on steep, muddy terrain presents logistical and environmental concerns for removal, read a November 2017 statement from the Sheriff's Department. Officials are working to determine the best course of action and so the mystery continued. Unbelievably, this was not the first time people found long-lost sports cars decades later. In 1978, a group of children in Los Angeles, California, stumbled upon a car buried in their yard while playing outside their home. In that case, an excavation revealed that it was a 1974 Dino 246 GTS, a car manufactured by Ferrari. Somehow, the sports car had ended up buried in the front yard. Talk about strange. Thankfully, police tracked down the owner. He was a plumber from Alhambra, California, named Resendo Cruz, and he originally purchased the car as a birthday gift to his wife. It was stolen on December 7, 1974. Who knows how long it was underground? Of course, this car would be roughly worth $70,000 today. Police never figured out who had stolen the Dino 246 GTS or why it was buried. Neither the neighbors nor the current tenants could recall any suspicious activity either. Moreover, that was not the only sports car with a mysterious backstory. The East Coast has had its fair share of sports cars popping up in strange places too. Once, a 1968 Chevrolet Corvette was stolen from Manhattan's Alan Poster. Then, in 2006, almost 37 years later, it was found all the way in Long Beach, California. These kinds of bizarre sports car discoveries aren't limited to the United States either. In August 2017, about 100 miles east of Paris, in the town of Chalons and Champagne, police retrieved a Peugeot 104 in a local pond. What was its deal? After visiting a nearby garage, a local mechanic, Frank Menard, was surprised by how good it still looked. It still looks like a 104, he said in an interview with the Daily Telegraph. The paintwork is still blue and there's still chrome on the bumpers. Surprisingly, the car had been missing for nearly four decades after initially being reported as stolen in 1979. The original owner was even located by the police, although by that point, it was officially owned by the insurer. Still, she took it for one nostalgic drive anyway. Finally, in Frankfurt, Germany in 2017, a man's car was found 20 years after it went missing. It was located in the garage of a building that was scheduled to be demolished. Someone reported it to authorities when they thought it was in the way of the demolition. 
The police returned the car back to its owner, who is now aged 76 years. There is no sign of a crime. Apparently, the owner simply forgot where he parked the car. Nevertheless, he was extremely glad to reunite with his car.